in my book, I describe six emotional styles. These are not emotional styles that are obvious. Um, they, are not, they don't correspond to personality types. They are all directly based upon hard-nosed neuroscientific evidence. And they come directly from the neuroscience literature. And uh, I don't have time to talk about each of them, but I'll describe each of them for you. The first one is resilience, and it refers to the rapidity with which a person recovers from adversity. How fast or slow are you to recover from adversity? The second we call outlook, and outlook refers to the extent to which or the skill that you have in showing persistent positive emotion. The third style is called social intuition, and it refers to the facility you have at decoding nonverbal social cues of emotion. The fourth is self-awareness, and it refers to differences among people in their perception of their own bodily cues that are important for emotion. The fifth is context, and that refers to the extent to which you take into account your context in modulating your emotional responses. How you behave with your boss could and should be different than how you behave with your spouse uh, or with your offspring. So being able to modulate your emotional responses in a context-sensitive way is another individual difference. And finally, attention, which normally isn't thought about in relation to emotion, but it's critically important, and it refers to how focused or scattered you are, which turns out to play an enormously important role in aspects of emotion. So I'm going to talk in more detail about a few of these and also show you some evidence for the plasticity of these emotional styles and how certain contemplative practices can actually alter um, these styles and their brain bases. But first, a little bit about the...